episode of Come Dine With Me, we're in London. Specifically, the southwest area of London. We're with six friends, so let's see how the first night went. Skull candle. Lovely. Interesting. No idea. Ooh. Nothing much going on in That's here. That's a cool little cupboard though. Nice dirty pants. Lots <laughs> Thin. Nice dirty pants. Oh, a lot of cards. Should we take our cards? No. Is this a shock? No, no. No, no. Oh my gosh, she's so young in that. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> Oh, Looks so little. Is that even her? Yeah. Interesting, though. <laughs> Look at that hairstyle. Yeah, quite a sweeping fringe. Yes, V sweeping. Do not swing. Am I clever? Okay. Do, okay, swing now. No, 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 do don't not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm spinning you around. Just don't start swinging as soon as I'm spun because I need to move out of the way. Wait for the signal. Okay. And don't swing too far. We're not going to move you that far away from it. What? <laughs> what? Yes. Oh! Ooh. <laughs> don't fall over. <laughs> Man, you said get them squaws fast then you get to all you girls I wanna join my tribe Just move to the rhythm and feel my vibe Put up a fuss in the end you'll agree But when you come inside <laughs> But she's so flaily You sure you want to do this? I'm so confused Yeah, flaily Gonzalez oh, Yes! Oh, that was good! Hey, my moustache is coming up! Right, let me go! <laughs> Stop cheating at your own game. <laughs> Tell me when you feel dizzy. Then we'll keep going. My son was going to fetch a cocktail. Oh, huh? All right. Hey! 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 I thought tonight was very good. I thoroughly enjoyed the starter. There was the correct amount of cheese and tomato ratio to crisp, so that was very good. Um, I thought the main was delicious, although the tacos were shop bought, and I will be deducting you a point for that. Um, yeah, the banana bread was good, a little bit dry, but I'll, I'll, I'll forgive you for that because the rest of the evening was very, very good. So all in all, I'm going to give you an eight. The food was really good. I really enjoyed the vegan selection. Um, however, the flexitarian that I am, I do like meat, so I guess potentially missed a little bit of that tonight. So, given all that, Jen has done a great job for our first night on Come Dine With Me. So I'm going to give you an eight. Um, I really enjoyed Jen's evening. Um, her entertainment was flawless. Um, the decoration, she's obviously gone through a lot of effort um, to theme the night for us, which was really nice. It's been a great start for the six, six months. Um, the only thing that slightly let her down, I felt, was there was a lot of food. Um, some of the name was a bit cold when it came out, and the pudding. <coughs> Well, actually, the pudding was delicious. I ate two portions here, so it was great too. Um, so, the overall atmosphere and food, I could change. Um, eight. <laughs>
So I thought Jen did a brilliant job in hosting the evening. I think her food was really good, but I would give her a markdown because we have very cold taco shells, um, which for me is quite a big deal breaker in, in my Mexican meal. Um, I thought her entertainment was really good um, and quite innovative with her decoration. So all in all, I think I'm going to give Jen a seven. Overall, I think the evening went well. I think they enjoyed the entertainment and the fact that everything was homemade, apart from the tortilla shells. Mm, granted, my pudding was a bit dry. The banana bread could have been better, maybe needed a custard. Uh, but overall, yeah, I think it was good and hopefully they enjoyed their first come dine with me experience. A strong start there from Jen with her Mexican themed night. Now let's see how Che got on. Chiquitita, you and I know. How the harnicks come and they go and the stars they leave it. Right. I think I've got a few. I think it's thin, but also much too cute. Straight pee, we know plan. Claire's already told us she has straight pee. Straight pee. There it is. Straight there it is. is. That's evidence. straight pee. <laughs> Only one left though. <laughs> Just let it pop up on that. What should we on that period next week then? <laughs> oh, oh my god. Powery. Shut up. Should we just give one go or go? And maybe brown sugar isn't the good idea. Maybe I should do caster. Oh, are you feeling funny? Oh, wow. What? Really bad. Oh, how do you turn it off? I'll get worried. Okay, okay, I get it now. It's so cool, Joe. But it's setting on fire, which is scaring me. It's okay. Oh, my God. Right, that's not right. More sugar. This is where it's going to go good, is it not? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Have you got a smoke alarm? Don't know. It's not smoke, though. It's oh. A heat alarm, sorry. Oh, this is cool, isn't it? Oh, it's part of a picture. Look at that. Exactly what This is going to set on. It's meant to be like cinnamon and orange and juice, which I think you can Mine's just kind of gone into the. <laughs> Mine sank. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I knew you were going to do it. Oh, 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 yes. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 I'm so proud of you. <laughs> She's got her. She's got it. 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 Oh, God. Come on, stop. I'm going to vomit now. Oh, look at this. A bit of caramel ice. <laughs> Delicious, but. Oh, Leo, Leo, Leo. 
Yeah, where he lived. It's a rather it's completely Pin the mole on Enrique and the sangria chocolate game. Um, the food was yummy, bless her with the dessert, it was really nice. Um, mainly because I love custard and it was not set, so it was basically custard. Um, the starter and main, they're really yummy, but they were a bit cold. But overall, 
I'd give her a seven because her entertainment was really, really fun. Mm, I very much enjoyed the evening so far. Um, I okay from the top starters. Spanish omelette was tasty, but it was a bit cold. Uh, then mains paella, very good. I'm not a huge fan of fish, but it wasn't too fishy, so that was quite good. Um, and then dessert, creme, the creme brulee. Ah, the creme brulee. Bit runny. The uh, caramelisation was good, and I enjoyed the entertainment of uh, of the uh, um, I can't what it's called blowtorch. That was entertaining. Uh, what was your entertainment? Oh, the uh, sangria game. Didn't enjoy the, sang the white sangria pretty big in. Um, so all in all, I'm gonna give Chegg a seven out of ten. Pretty damn good. I had a really lovely evening. I thought the food was delicious. I particularly enjoyed um, the dessert, especially uh, the viscosity of it. It was really to my taste. So I think for this evening, if you include the really brilliant um, entertainment um, and um, just a really great atmosphere for the night, um, I think I'm going to give um, Claire an eight. So long. So Claire's review for the evening and um, having a great time. So put a lot of thought into the menu, keeping very well in tune with the theme. Very well themed, very well themed. Um, some of the food may be slightly cold, did be delicious, and it was all, all homemade, tried really hard. I think the dessert may have let her down a bit. Um, The dessert. So for, for, for some of the food was a bit cold and there are a few hairs flying about. I'm gonna give her oh shit. A seven and a half. <laughs> so tonight I am gonna give Claire a solid nine out of ten. I think the entertainment was original, well thought out. I love the addition of um, add the mole to Enrique. I thought that was really well thought out. Um, I think her dinner was brilliant. The only thing that for me is knocking it off a 10 is the fact that I had to down a creme brulee that was, or creme whatever the Spanish one is, that was pure liquid custard and I feel a bit wrong after that. But fantastic effort, fantastic execution of the night. Um, quite drunk now, which is always a good thing. So, yeah, really, really pleased. Well done, Claire. Cheers to you. Oh, sorry. Well done, Pablo Escobar. Cheers. Sorry, Zon Pablo S. Clever. How are you? It's the Chang Saucy Spanish night. The scores are pretty tight, with Jen just ahead with 7.75 average. <laughs>
this evening is Christmas. It's our Christmas uh, come die with me. So it's December the 7th. Uh, the girls are, to be fair, absolutely smashed it for only having an oven that started working today. Um, I am probably going to regret giving this score, but I'm going to actually give them a 9 out of 10 for fucking smashing it. And this is probably the best Christmas we've had so far, but if yeah, the heads are going to be jumping or something, here it is. Yeah, the 9 out of 10. 9. Hello. Um, okay, I'm just gonna do my just gonna do my scores quickly. Ooh, so blue outside. Okay, so it's been a fantastic evening. Cheers all, Merry Christmas. Um, to be honest, the food has been top notch. I have not had better. The entertainment has also been absolutely fantastic. I actually can't much. You can never have a perfect night though, so I'm going to give it a 9.5. Merry Christmas! <laughs> okay, so I was a bit sceptical skeptical about this evening because there's two of them and you know I really thought that you know, two people making one meal, it's different to everybody else because we've got double the effort to put into the same thing, you know. But, I have to be honest, and they really pulled it out of the bag. Two times everything, and the decorations were beautiful, the food was so good. There is not a single thing I can fault. And for that reason, I'm going to give it a 10. Welcome to the grotto. He was dressed up really nice. The theme was just spot on with decorations and everything. So it was perfect. The food amazing. The start is not on the street. I don't like to mind the sound. It's not really hard to mind. The man is amazing. I'm really accommodated. He keeps his peace. I'm going to let him do it. And the dessert was just incredible. Really fun. Really great atmosphere all around. I really felt it very much apart from that starter. But all in all, I would give it the perfect Christmas theme for my mum. Um, yeah, it's. Oh, hey! <laughs> what can we say then? Um, it's been really good. Well. Think I've really enjoyed the food. I think they enjoyed the food quite a lot. I think it's well. We've think smashed two of them. But I feel like the standards, the judging standards are getting quite high. We got, we got comments about our lack of matching bowls. Did we? Mm -hmm. No one else said matching bowls. Exactly. Fuck all these bitches. Fuck these bitches. I think we smashed it. We ain't perfect. I no think, one's perfect, um, as they I say. think it was quite sad that Jen left early. Yeah. Rude. Rude. Um, but yeah, she missed on. out on the amazing dessert selection. And we've got dessert left over for the morning. Yes, including cheese, which I'm so mm. excited to find. Mm. Um, yeah. 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 Two I can go to sleep happy tonight. Two maids and two desserts. I feel like I can rest easy in my bed knowing I've done the best I can do. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. Thanks, Dad. God bless. Peace out. Bye. Amen to that. <laughs> and happy Christmas. <laughs> After all that festive fun, Chaz and Emma storm into the lead with a whopping 9.25 average. Oh, you're peeing Yeah, I didn't know where that was from. 
Oh, I can't really get in. Oh, listen. Maybe I should stand up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We didn't get 30 pounds a day for that. No, we got we, all our food in. Yeah, we were, yeah, you, we were, you, we were working similar hours. Thank you. Hours, right? you I don't really know. Even. Well, the dates are like, thank this you, Emma. Cheers, Emma. Oh, Cheers. 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 I made everything else. <laughs> really hard to like mark down in that situation um so all in all i do i i've been very impressed with tonight and i am gonna give emma a nine out of ten Ooh, nine. Ooh. <laughs> good evening um so tonight i would personally like to give emma james a nine out of ten I think she's absolutely exceeded herself in menu, in dinner table preparation, in activity preparation. I think she's done a fantastic job. Um, I personally think the activity was the best part of the night. I can't fault her apart from what can I give her a minus one for? Um, Don't know, a warmer pool, a warmer pool. So yeah, nine out of ten. Smashed it, you ginger bastard. Hi, um, really enjoyed this evening. I thought the theme was great. Everyone got really into it. Everyone really set the scene really well. Arrived, it was clear where I was going. There was a cocktail on arrival, which was delicious. Went straight into the food. The thought she put into the menu just warmed my heart. Um, a starter, really delicious, maybe a bit big, but I mean, it was cheesy and you know, what, what it's not to love. Um, the main chicken potatoes, really great, never had asparagus before, loved it. And dessert, again, was delicious, like really topped up the boo well, the entertainment was beautiful, really fun. I mean, I didn't win the race, could have been fixed so that the host didn't win, I don't know, I don't know. Um, 
I, don't, I had a great time. Entertainment and food was great. <sighs> I'm gonna have to give her a, a nine out of 10. Hello. Okay, so my scores. I think we're gonna go for a pretty good score because, mainly because I'm surprised, because Emma James has really, really, really gone up here today, considering all I've known of her in the past is beans on toast or like chili con carne from a tin. So I'm very impressed. Well done. All oh, the doors opening. Door opening. <laughs> we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, I'm actually super impressed, well done Emma. There's actually a bit of dessert here which I can't help but just eat a bit because it was so nice. So I'm gonna just do a live taste test and then you can, you can like know how great it was. One thing is actually that this pastry isn't homemade so I think we're gonna have to have a little bit of a, a little bit of a downward grading for that but live. Mmm. Mmm, it's so good. So good. So yeah, um, and also obviously the swimming was great. It was a really great evening, so thanks Emma, I'm really impressed. I'm gonna give you, I think, a nine. And now I'm gonna do a little pretend walk down the stairs, like I'm leaving. <laughs> Bye. Hi, so I thoroughly enjoyed Emma's evening from like, the cocktails and, and upon arrival, courtesy of Mr. and Mrs. James, were delicious, if a bit strong. Uh, risotto, one of my favourite dishes, dough and potatoes, one of my favourite dishes. Tart, apple tart, <laughs> one of my equally favourite dishes. So I, food wise, am going like a six, but then the entertainment of the swimming races and the Prosecco Pom bumped it up to a good 7 out of 10 for Emma James. It's oh, inappropriate so side nice. comments. Two fairs! Two fairs! Two fairs! Two fairs! Two fairs! Two fairs! King Kebab is the best kebab I've ever had. Two the fairs! Two the fairs! there from DJ EJ. The entertainment really was top notch. But Chaz and Emma are still leading the table with 9.25. Still on to play for as we head into the final night with Zoe. She's done a fantastic Look, that smells amazing. Look at that golden. Oh, I'm gonna get a reaction shot. Smell of vision was a thing. Ready, you two? It would have to be Oh, oh, but I just came to be with you like this. Yeah. Oh, 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 that's great. Wow, it's called Francesco. Francesco, you take it off. Salute. You can't have better ratio. Salute, Prego. Salute, Salute. Gracias, salute. Gracias. Stromboli and the I didn't know that. Hello. 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 I thought tonight, I mean, you may be able to hear any of the evening, everyone's still having a great time, so it's been a really good evening, actually. I think Zoe has been very, very prepared for this evening. She made absolutely everything from scratch, the fresh pasta, the garlic bread, even the pastry and the pudding, everything tasted delicious. Um, I thought the kind of lots of different 
um, challenges throughout the night with prizes as well and forfeits for the worst. I thought that was a really good addition. I kind of brought a bit of, you know, an element of um, challenge to the evening, which was really good. Um, I thought it was a really, really good night. Um, yeah, I'm really, really impressed. I think I can't really fault her, to be honest. I can't think of anything to fault her on. Maybe it would have been nice to have a heads up on the theme so we could dress up as Italianos, you know, and put a little bit of pizza on myself and wear a bit of red and green, but you, you know, you can't be perfect. So, um, I think I'm gonna have to give her nine out of 10. Oh, can I give her a nine out of 10 or should I give her a 10 out of 10? I'm going to give her a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for a Mizo. Congratulations, Shayla. Oh. Right, so we are in Wokingham for Zoe's Italian themed calm down. We should get quiet. I feel like we could have upped our outfits a bit if we'd have known it was Italian. But she is literally in the room next door. She's literally smashed this out of the bloody park. She made her own pasta, she made her own garlic bread, she made her own parmigiana, she made her own <laughs> lemon and mango tart, all from scratch. So food wise, I actually can't fault it, so I'm going to give food 10 out of 10. And so it was also fun, my poem was shit, that was deserved bottom place. Entertainment 6 out of 10. So I'm going to give Zoe an average 8 out of 10. Hey! Well, hello there! <laughs> um, right, okay. So, what do I want to give Zoe? Tonight I'm going to give Zoe a 9 out of 10. Um, because of... <laughs> because of the... Excellent quality craftsmanship of the meal. I think the fact that she made everything from scratch was incredible. Um, the effort and thought gone into the gifts was brilliant. Um, I think that's probably about all I need to say, really. Um, I think my score might change depending on the next board game that we play, but it's been a brilliant night and I think she's done a fantastic job. Although the grandma did help with the cleaning, so you can't give her full marks for that because she didn't achieve it all by herself. So deducting a point for that and she's going to get a 9 out of 10 from me. But thank you very much. Chin chin. God bless. I don't know if it's filming. I think I, think I turned it off and I've turned it back on. Okay. This is the final come dine. Yes. Been a fantastic October, November, December, January, February, March, six months. We've had some beautiful food. Today I'm gonna vote that. Okay, food was amazing. Top class, top class. For me, for me, entertainment wasn't my forte. I'm not creative, so I'm gonna have to mark down a little bit for that. But the food, homemade pasta, homemade garlic bread, I can't fault it. So, on that note, I'm going to give Zoe's eat.
raven. Yeah, it's still recording, Jen. Uh oh. I don't have any. Oh no. <laughs> Luckily, it's not on my white shirt either. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, don't let my landlord see this come down in the episode. Oh no. Um, It'll be fine. The dreamy magic of Carpet Kalina. So, tonight, I'm going. Oh no, I'm going to do it right. I've done it wrong.